Hello YouTube! Uh, Stephen Harley here from Banbury UK. I'm going to do a video about the Groxed one on YouTube. I'm sorry I haven't got a lot of time. So you might hear me walking around just because I've got to make my dinner and eat it at the same time. Right, okay. So I'm making this video about debunking Groxed one. The Groxed one on YouTube. Uh, you'll be seeing pictures of his sort of stuff. If you've ever seen him on YouTube, you'll probably recognise it immediately. Um, I I kind of have gone off his videos for a little while, mainly because they're so repetitive. I get sick of repetitive stuff. And then it occurred to me today, he's a fake. He's employed by those bastards, whoever they are, controlling us. And why? Preparing us mentally to accept their bullshit, their trickery to come. One of my first ever doubts about the Grox, because let's just say that the idea is brilliant. And this is perfect for fooling someone, is to have a really good concept. And he has got a really good concept. He's stumbled onto something which is brilliant. And he's, so for that alone, he's actually given us something really great. But this is what they do when they want to trick you. They give you something really great. Then they start slowly, slowly start to edge away at the meanings brainwash you and they know we're lazy they know we're lazy they know we won't go and check for ourselves we'll just watch the grocks right because it's easier yeah the first thing that made me skeptical and I'm, I'm not going to because I know I'm not going to be able to find a clip of this um, porn advert because I've watched some free films online before and you have to close these adverts pretty quick. And it came on as like sound exactly the same as the Grox, just a slightly higher pitch. And it was all about, hi guys, you know, I really, I want to find, uh, when I'm looking for porn, you know, I want some real webcams with real live girls, you know, and that's about as far as I'd listen to it. And I'm pretty sure that's him. That's his voice. So, I mean, you're going to have to take my word for it at the moment, unless any of you also listen to this advert. But his, his, the voice is exactly the same. And this guy, Groxt, has a good voice, right? He's got a lovely voice. He's got a proper radio voice. Is professional. Is clear. You know, he is a prime candidate for someone to do voiceovers. So, this is his job. He's a voiceover guy. He does this porn webcam thing. Obviously, Illuminati well into that. And they finger him for someone to start their illusion with this, with this stuff that he's putting out. Right, and this, and why, why, why do they want to do this? Right, now, before we knew trickery was coming, or as we knew it was coming, there's a lot of people on YouTube, let's just get one thing straight. The rapture comes after the tribulation, right? We have the tribulation, then there's the second coming, or whatever it is. God putting his mountain on the earth, okay? Now, Grox, what he's saying, what he started to say, is that people all get zapped up before the tribulation, before the shit hits the fan. Okay, so this is their reason for, this is the Illuminati wankers bastards reason for getting Grox to do these videos. To fool us into thinking the rapture comes before. So then, voila, when you haven't been sucked up, what do you surmise? Oh, that you're no good. That you're an evil one, right? That's what they're doing. That's 
I mean, I don't know what else they're doing it for. There's probably a multitude of reasons. And the reason I don't know what else they're doing it for is because I don't know what's what their trickery, what exactly they're going to do. Now, hang on, I'm just... Um, what am I having for dinner today? Well, I've chopped up some sweet potato, um, swede and parsnip into sort of chip shapes, thin chip shapes. Um, now I'll just put in the bacon and the blood pudding and then I'm going to chuck on some mushrooms and Brussels sprouts chopped up on top of the swedes and that and I'm going to let them sizzle, cook all in the frying pan. Look at this, double, <laughs> double bonus video. Get my lazy cooking tips. I often, because I'm mostly cooking for myself or me and my son and he's still a young boy so he doesn't eat that much. I cook in, usually in one frying pan. And that's how I know how to cook. Cook veg too long. I like it to retain some of its nutrients. But not be rock hard. Right. So where was I? Okay. Yeah, um... Now... Grok's also, he's, you know... The brainwashing issue. They want to brainwash you. They need repetitiveness. It's got to be repetitive. Um, keep telling the same thing over and over and over and over and over. And they try not to bore you with it, but you start to just sort of, like you say, we are lazy, we'll put on his video and we'll just sit back and listen. He's not a nice voice. So we're hearing the same old shit and you're almost too lazy to say, shut up and turn you off or because you know as happens sometimes towards the end or in the middle whatever gets to something interesting um, so yeah this is how they brainwash us <coughs> and Grox obviously isn't the only one I mean we're getting a lot of stuff pumped down our mouths through movies and things like that and well you know he's backing them up I mean that's what he's doing he's showing us this interpretation that he, I think he's being told to show us and he's kind of an actor and that's how he came into it here's a job you're doing this and he'll say oh yeah we're as a team and stuff I mean I caught I started watching him about six seven months ago and he says he's been doing it for a few years but I went to look at old videos I don't know if they, they weren't there um, whether he used to have a different channel or not um, yeah, and he so he have, and he also you have if you put a comment on his videos, it has to be approved by him. That's why I've done this to debunk him. Go on the make a video route. His high quality. He's got good equipment there, you know. And that was always my thing. I said, you know, we're looking out for trickery on YouTube. Who are the fakes? You know, one thing they're going to have, they're going to have good quality equipment. You know, he had that light box and everything, he's drawing transfers on. and You know, he's got the right stuff, he's obviously got a very good microphone. Um, and this thing about Jesus as well, he's very much a Jesus rammer. Now, first of all, he's a hypocrite. If that's him doing the um, porn cam um, advert, well... <laughs> you know, he, he can't really be a religious person. And when he says about the Jesus thing, he kind of... You know, it's all very matter-of-fact. It's the first thing he says, it's the last thing he says. He'll say it in the middle quite often. And it's, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's like he's just reeling off the ramming Jesus down your throat thing. And it's always using that word, that person. I don't get this. I know there's a lot of people who just kind of say, oh you know, Jesus loves you and all that. But, you know, why don't they say God? I've always said God. I mean, I know in churches they do Jesus. So, I, you know, most people seem to be guilty of that. Um, but, you know, why should, why should there be a door between us and heaven that only Jesus can open? Why did God design the universe to work that way? 
Why did he design it that we have to put our faith in a supposedly a man? You see, it's it's bullshit as far as I'm concerned. It might as, it might as you know this in a sense in my own mind at least is making me believe that yeah Jesus probably is the word for a de the devil or something because it's being rammed down us so much. And someone I heard someone saying about Jesus is like Zeus. Zeus. So you never know. Um, that's why I'd just rather stick to God and actually these days now I will just say intelligent universe and karma. And that all of us souls, we are all God. We're all on the same level. Anything that has a soul. That's that's the best thing. That's that's how that's how it would be best. And that's probably how it is. We're just being filled with cock and ball from everywhere. So, I mean, if, if I'm wrong about this, Grox, you know, and I'm, I'm very sorry, but phew, if I'm right, you sneaky, squirmy toad, you arse bagger, imagine the information he could really give to us. I've been paid by these people to make these videos to keep telling you this one thing. Um, now, I mean, the drawings sometimes are just not good. And he, he takes the image away so quickly and then puts it back that you sort of, you don't have time to look. And there's lots of times I've, I've put a comment on saying, oh look, there's something else here as well. You know, but he's never said, oh, you know, he's never replied to that comment, he's never added it in his next video. So he says about this, oh yeah, okay, thanks teammate, you hear him sometimes saying, that's usually if you give him a good compliment. So, you know, he is really, he's working alone. Um, he He's working alone, so he's claiming to be a team, but he's working alone. So there's one um, uh, lie, let's just call it a lie, as there was another word I was looking for, but I haven't got it. Right, yeah, so sometimes the drawings are bad. I mean, I asked, there was this one with London, and you could really see, and I've looked at it as well on Google, and it is there, um, like a, a dragon-looking thing covering that whole area where he's got Prince William and the, the diamond, where he keeps going on about the diamond. Definitely was the eye of this dragon. So clear. But he ignored me and he's never put it in. So, are the bastards showing us something which is true, but then what he's doing is he's kind of showing us some of it. He's not showing us all. He didn't kind of want us to give the impression perhaps that London is the centre for the mother fucking beast. And that's why they're shit scared of a proper riot going on there. Um, and I've gone through all my points, so um, let's let's have some comments. Um, if anyone agrees or disagrees, um, maybe more than six people will watch this. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the Groxed one. If you want to come back and say anything as well, please do. Defend yourself. I'm accusing you of betrayal of the human people and the people who watch YouTube. If it's not true, you should be offended. I'd like to hear from you. Okay, thanks. Bye.